Hey, what's going on, everybody? You need to just shut your f***ing mouth and never say a f***ing word ever again. Dude, I'll just say hello. Shut your f***ing mouth. Jesus Why? Come on, man. I mean... Why can't you f***ing understand? Do you... I'm pretty sure you understand English. Well, yeah, of course I speak English, man. Nobody wants to hear anything that comes out of your f***ing mouth. Absolutely nobody. Well, dude, I mean, just chill out here for a minute. What the f*** is your problem? Shut up! Oh, you are mouth, a failed abortion. That's how useless you are. You are a, you are a failure at everything. You can't shut the f*** up. You can't do anything dude. right. You're a disappointment to your family. You should f***ing die. You should commit suicide. F*** you. We've all had it happen to us. We're playing some online multiplayer, kicking ass, taking names, and then it happens. Shut the fuck up. Poor loser. No, you're getting the mute award. Shut you're the fuck up, fucking bitch. Maggot. Shut you're the fuck up. Egg. Yum, 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 yum. A barrage of insults, from simple F-bombs to racial slurs that are so obscure that you had to actually look them up just to figure out what race they apparently think you are. Now, some people find these moments in game chat to be deeply disturbing while others find the whole over-the-top nature of it all to be kind of hysterical. Almost like watching some form of satire, knowing of course these people will never have the galls to say such a thing in person. But this difference and the way most people look at these kind of online interactions lead to some unfortunate problems for developers and publishers alike, which brings us to the kind of creepy state of modern gaming. Now before I get too much into this, I do want to make this very clear in the beginning. I obviously, in no way, support harassing people online, especially with racist and sexist and homophobic slurs. I find all that stuff to be pretty reprehensible and absolutely ridiculous. However, there is an honest discussion to be had on what, if anything, companies should actually be doing about it. In the past, the internet was a complete wild west where anything and everything was fair game. I mean, I can't even begin to talk about some of the things I actually heard during those Halo and COD lobbies back in the mid to late 2000s. Hey, Ma, I played with my dick today. Nobody cares. It's not a feat. Anyone can do that. You find someone's back and search it. Wow, you wait from the dude, you're and mad because you went 9 and 23, you kid. What do fucking do? So yeah, it could be kind of rough at times, but back then, we all just kind of shrugged it off, you know, not thinking much of it because, well, it was online, so who cared? I mean, around that time, to be perfectly honest, a lot of the people who were really into gaming, frankly, had a lot worse done to them half the time at school. So compared to that, some random asshole yelling about how he fucked your mother really didn't even register to us. With that said, times are different, and now that the online community has become part of almost everyone's everyday life, these kind of interactions are being talked about more and more and companies are just really struggling to deal with the Twitter mobs and bad press about the, quote, toxicity of the gaming community. Now, companies have taken some actions over the years to stop cases of harassment, but really up until now, they were really only for cases of actual harassment, like someone sending you messages from just different accounts just spamming you with them, or, in the worst of cases, just overt threats against you. I will fucking track you down and kill you. Now these things mostly take place outside the game itself, mostly on the platform side of things. And I think most people out there would actually agree that when you have cases where people are crossing the line into straight up legal harassment territory, that there probably should be something done to stop them. But now, developers and publishers alike have started to take aim at in-game chat functions, with the most recent example being Microsoft releasing the ability for gamers to record and report in-game chat that they find inappropriate. Now this push to police in-game speech is becoming more and more common now, with another example being Creative Assemblies who straight up just removed the in-game chat feature for many of their Total War games. And because of this increase in policing of game chat, people have actually started of course asking the very reasonable question of who decides what is inappropriate to say. Obviously something's clearly crossed the line, right? Like going on some kind of terrible racist rant. Fuck you! What? I don't have to leave you fucking Fuck you! Go to hell you fucking Fuck you! Fuck you Fuck you! You're a fucking 
Fuck you. Yeah. With that said, however, there are plenty of situations out there that will have a lot more nuance to them. For example, me and my wife really love playing Rocket League every now and again. You know, mostly on weekdays, we just kind of sit on the couch, relax, throw up the Xbox, and just kind of joke around a bit. And to be perfectly honest, some of the jokes we make about one another can at times be pretty inappropriate. And it would be no surprise at all if one of the randoms in our game overheard our conversation and thought, wow, this really crosses the line on what someone should be saying to someone else. And the problem is, is that Microsoft has given no clear response on whether or not you can record and report people even if those comments are in no way directed towards you. Now I would say they probably lean in favor of yes you can just based on some of their statements they have made in the past about how gamers need to start being allies to one another and actually standing up for each other whenever any inappropriate comments are ever even uttered. So I just want you to imagine for a moment. You and maybe a couple of your more edgy friends are online playing some multiplayer and of course making a couple of jokes here and there. And someone in the lobby overhears these jokes and figures, you know what, they kind of really cross my personal line for what I view as acceptable. So they record 60 seconds of y'all's conversation out of context and report you. What then? Or what happens when some trolls start going around and baiting people into saying inappropriate things only to of course then record and report them just so they can try to get them banned. Now I know some of you out there are probably thinking, but barbecue, that's just ridiculous. Who would even think to do something like that? But dude, we live in a world where Twitter regularly mobs comedians who make quote inappropriate jokes all the time. Not to mention just how petty some gamers out there can be. I mean, I remember back in the Halo 2 and 3 days where players would literally bait you into portraying them just so they could get you booted from the game for fun. The reality is, is that if there is a way this can be exploited, gamers of all people will find it and they will use it. But let's go back to the main issue here and that is, who decides what is truly unacceptable? Like I said before, there are things that of course 99% of us would probably agree crosses a line. But there's also gonna be a lot of things that take place that depending on your own personal biases, you're not really gonna get the same answer as someone else. A fantastic example of this is when it comes to gamer tags. A kinky midget, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I think most of us have known someone who's at some point probably had to change their gamer tag because it was viewed as inappropriate. I remember one case where one of my online friends had to actually change his gamer tag because I guess stoned emo kid just was too much. So now let's take the craziness of how they decide what is and is not appropriate when it comes to gamer tags and apply that for game chat. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to go real well. Whoever is reviewing the clips will always bring their own kind of personal biases to the equation. Because at the end of the day, there is no set standard for what is and is not appropriate. Making it so different reviewers will issue out different levels of punishment for different actions in ways that will not be equal. Similar to what we see on platforms like Twitch, where making an inappropriate joke can literally get you banned for months. Meanwhile, a girl can literally spread her ass cheeks apart on camera and get like a three day suspension. There just is no consistency when it comes to these sort of things. So why would people even chance it? Why would gamers go to game chat to joke around with friends if one inappropriate joke or one comment on a controversial topic could actually get them banned? All initiatives like this really do is push more and more people out of game chat and into more personalized groups on platforms like Discord making game chat just a even more desolate wasteland than it already is. Now I can understand kids games needing a good level of censorship due to the age of those playing. However, if you're over here playing a game where you're literally chainsawing people in half, then I assume you're mature enough to deal with people saying inappropriate things from time to time. Or in situations where people do cross the line, which again does happen. I think we can assume that a grown ass adult is more than capable of just hitting the mute button. It is very true that online interactions can go south very quickly. I mean, just look at Omegle. Oh, I thought he finished sentence. Ah! Okay. 
But as much as these companies have the right to restrict interactions however they wish, that does not make it the right decision to make. These kind of top-down approaches like what Microsoft are doing are just simply not the way. Instead, I say we should just go back to that old GameStop slogan. Power to the players. Give us the tools to mute and block people who we find to be distasteful and trust that us as adults are more than capable and more than mature enough to handle it ourselves without Big Brother Microsoft just lurking in the background. But I gotta ask, what do y'all think? I mean, I know I definitely sit on the whole never censor speech side of things. However, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm an idiot, hell, even if you just think I'm ugly, leave a comment below to let me know. And I promise, unlike Microsoft, I will not censor the comments I don't like. Either way, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know this is not the type of content I normally post on this channel. However, this story just really caught my eye. But don't worry, we'll be back to posting some more game reviews and retrospectives real soon. Hope to see y'all there. Peace.